Hey guys, welcome to this video. My name is Ron White. I'm a two-time USA Memory Champion. On this video, we're going to give six types of ADD in their natural treatment. If you are a student studying for a test, ADD can be terrible in, 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 in your ability to study and focus for a test. So I'm going to show you what the six types of ADD are and how some natural treatments for those. If you like this, and you, and you are a student and you are studying for a test or you just want to improve your memory, I have a memory course called Black Belt Memory. If you click the link down below, there is a PDF, a free gift you can get, but also a memory course that you can take that's going to help you study better, get better grades, remember what you read, remember names and faces, remember languages, numbers, whatever you want. Click the link down below to get my Black Belt Memory course. Now let's find out about the six types of ADD. Now, you you're notice I don't have ADD, ADHD, because I think ADHD is a subtype of ADD. So let's just talk about the six types of ADD here. The six types of ADD are classic ADD, inattentive, over-focused, limbic, temporal lobe, and ring of fire. Now, let's, let's dive into each one of these individually and figure out the different types of ADD and what they are in natural treatments. Here's some characteristics of just typical ADD. You have a short attention span. You have poor impulse control. Now, ADD is highly genetic. Uh, somebody who has ADD is gonna be someone who procrastinates a lot. And they are disorganized in time and space. And what this means is they're disorganized with their time. They just don't manage their, their day or their time very well. But the space that they exist in is also disorganized. Cluttered desk, cluttered closet, cluttered car. Now. My car is dirty a lot, and my desk is cluttered every now and then. That doesn't mean I have ADD. It just means at this moment I'm not organized. But a person who is consistent with this perhaps could, not doesn't have to be, but could be ADD. A person with ADD is often going to seek conflict to stimulate their brain. So if you have somebody, uh, uh, you know, maybe a teenager, and they're always trying to get conflict, Maybe it's because they have ADD and that conflict is stimulating their brain. So it's a possibility there. Now here is a bad thing. When a person with, who has ADD, when they, con when they try to concentrate, it gets harder to concentrate because the blood flow is decreasing. So it makes it worse. It's like a, it's an endless loop. If when someone who has ADD tries to concentrate, their blood flow will decrease, which is going to hurt their ability to concentrate. So the more they try to concentrate, the harder it gets. And then they just get more and more frustrated. It's an endless loop. Now, classic ADD, they're gonna have a short attention span, very easily distracted, go from one thing to another. They talk too much, they interrupt you, and they're just restless and, and hyperactive. What are some things that classic ADD could respond well to? Perhaps medication, perhaps supplements that, st or that are stimulants. Adderall is a medication that is a st stimulant. A natural supplement, a natural cure, or a natural therapy for classic ADD would be L-tyrosine is a building block for dopamine. Dopamine is that what makes you feel good. It's what makes you feel happy and what makes you feel content. Do not take this with Adderall. It would, it would be too much. It would, you, you, they, wouldn't, they would not go together, good together. Fish oil. Fish oil is so good for so many things. Um, it is a, a fatty acid and it is going to uh, help the brain uh, process so many things and just give you a better relaxed feeling. Fish oil is great for ADD. It's great, also great for anxiety and depression. I take a fish oil pill every day. I don't I maybe never been diagnosed with uh, ADD, but I take it just because it's so good for your brain. And fish oil is so cheap. There's no excuse not to take a fish oil pill every day, especially with how good it is for your brain. A high protein, low carb diet is good for somebody who has ADD. Aerobic exercise. Exercise is one of the best things you can do for ADD, for depression, for anxiety, for your brain. When we age, our brains actually shrink. The hippocampus shrinks. One of the few things that can combat the shrinkage of your hippocampus is exercise. Exercise is one of the best things to do for your body and your brain. Uh, here's the next type of ADD. It's inattentive ADD. Somebody with inattentive ADD is going to have a short attention span. They're going to be distracted real easily. Now, this isn't 
diagnosed until later. It's not as overt as classic ADD. Somebody with inattentive ADD can be spacey or an underachiever. They can be impulsive. Uh, they, can be, they can procrastinate. Treatment for ADD, inatt inattentive ADD, is the same as classic, very similar. It, it, even though you're, it's not identified until later, the treatments are the same for almost all of these ADD. I like identifying each ADD so you can see what it is, but you're not going to see much variation in the treatment because they're all so similar. Intense aerobic exercise. I like to do jujitsu. That's me right there in the, the blue gi, the blue uniform. Um, limit video games and t TV, especially the, the violent and the aggressive ones for somebody who has uh, ADD, inattentive ADD. L-tyrosine, again, helps with the neurotransmitters. Fish oil, ha, where have we heard that before? High protein, low carb diet. The next one is over-focused ADD. Over-focused ADD has all the cl classic symptoms of ADD, but this person is more rigid. They are more inflexible. They get stuck on a negative behavior. And someone with this, you really need to boost their serotonin and dopamine. And you can boost serotonin with things like uh, tryptophan supplements, with uh, GABA supplements, with 5-HTP supplements, and fish oil. Boom, there you go. More carbs and limiting the TV. The more you can get out of the house and do exercise, limit TV, limit video games, almost all types of ADD, not helpful. Not helpful at all. Uh, limbic ADD. Now this has all the typical ADD symptoms, but it may or may not be hyperactive. This person is more blue, more emotional. They were more self-isolating. They have problems with sleep. They have problems with their appetite. They maybe even have a mild depression along with their ADD. Now here's the thing. It's not like a blood test that you can do where somebody they're going to say, oh, you have classic ADD or you have inattentive ADD or you have limbic ADD. This, this is kind of a gray area here. Now, there are very defined, but you may find yourself having symptoms of all of these. Or I have this one, but I also have this one. I'm confused which type of ADD I have. That's why you just do the treatments that are common in all of them multivitamin, fish oil, exercise. See those bottom ones right there? Multivitamin, fish oil, exercise. If you, if you have anxiety, if you have depression, if you have ADD, those three things, those are the three things that I do every day. I don't necessarily get all the other stuff right, but every day, well, I don't try, I try to do some form of exercise every day, but I've not been so good at that lately. But a multivitamin and fish oil and drinking plenty of water, every day because my brain is the most important part of my life. Your brain is who you are. You are your brain. You are your thoughts. You got to take care of it. Temporal lobe ADD. This person is moody. They have illusions, you know, illusions kind of like fantasies, things that aren't really real and maybe irrational fears even. They're irritable. They have flash tempers. Uh, they have all the classic symptoms of the other ADD. And this a temporal lobe ADD could also have reading problems, language problems, because it's affecting a different part of the brain responsible for those. Some treatments are, whoa, look at that, what a surprise. Multivitamin, fish oil. This one also responds to a, a good ketogenic diet where you're eliminating simple sugars. And of course, exercise and avoiding, avoiding violent video games and TV. Staples of all of them. Something, you know, find an exercise that you like to do that you don't dread doing. Maybe you like to go running or riding bicycles. I like jujitsu. Maybe you like playing a sport, baseball or softball. Play something that's fun for you so you don't dread it. Maybe you like rock climbing or hiking. Find an exercise that's enjoyable so you don't really see yourself as exercising. You see yourself doing something enjoyable. Ring of Fire ADD. Now this one has all the classic symptoms of, of the other ADD. They're restless. They are hyperactive. Remember, there are types that are not hyperactive and they could be early bipolar. Now here is something that's important to know though. Because there are different types of ADD, remember the, the stimulants helped the, the classic ADD? Well, stimulants could make Ring of Fire ADD worse. So the treatments aren't always all the same.
Now, the fish oil, the multivitamin, the exercise, that's going to help them all. But some of the other things don't, doesn't help them all. Stimulants could actually make ring of fire ADD worse. So the safe things for this are multivitamin, fish oil, the GABA. Let me read you here. I take GABA. Let me read you the back of what this, this, this GABA bottle says. GABA, it's short for gamma amino butric acid, is a non-protein amino acid that functions as a neurotransmitter in the human brain. GABA is naturally produced in the body and is present within the central nervous system. It may help promote relaxation and ease nervous tension. 5-HTP is another one I take. Let me read you the back of this bottle. And these are the brand I take, but don't focus in on the brand. I, I'm, I'm not taking these because I'm, I'm loyal to a specific brand. I'm taking these because these are easy for me to purchase. 5-HTP, the intermediate metabol metabolite between the amino acid L-tryptophan and serotonin, is extracted from the seed of the African plant Griffonia simplicifoluna. Okay. But... I take this 5-HTP because it supports a positive mood. It helps with the production or it helps with the communication of L-tryptophan and serotonin in your brain. Or I think it's a precursor to serotonin. 5-HTP is... Um, is one that I that I do take, and I don't take it for ADD. I, this just helps me have a, a positive, relaxed uh, brain and and mind mindset with less anxiety. L tyrosine, a balanced diet, less TV, more exercise. Where have you heard that before? So, guys, these are the six types of ADD and natural cures and natural treatments for them. Um, and again, what we found in almost all of these was good nutrition, exercise, multi vitamin and fish oil. Those it's going to help with so many different things in the brain, including ADD, including anxiety, including depression, a good mood, just a relaxed feeling uh, is, is benefits to all of these. So Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that video on the six types of ADD. If you did, please give me a thumbs up if it helped you. If you struggle with ADD, uh, comment below what type of ADD you think you have or, or things that you do to help with it. By the way, I have a memory course called Black Belt Memory. If you look down in the, the description below, you will see a link. In that link, I have a free memory gift that I want to give you that's going to help you improve your memory. It's the next step that you need to take in improving your brain and your memory. But I also have a course there you can find out about Black Belt Memory. It's a wonderful memory course. It'll help you improve your grades, study, and all of that. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Also, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. You're going to get more videos on the brain and learning and studying and focus. Hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you on the next lesson.